Welcome back to What's Inside. I'm Lincoln, this is my dad, Dan. And we are in the workshop of Grant Thompson, the king of random. What's up, guys? I'm so excited to have Dan and Lincoln here in my workshop. I actually invited them to come here. I like to work with electricity and a lot of random experiments, so I thought, what if we brought them over to cut open a stun gun? <laughs> oh my gosh. That's Stop. the real deal. Stop, that please. Is This is the first time Lincoln's ever seen one of those, ever. <laughs> what do you think about that? Uh, this thing I got off the internet claimed to be 9 million volts of electricity. That's insane. Yes, and it doesn't shoot out the prongs like a taser would. This is just a stun gun. So why don't you just give this a try? Just put your finger on that button and just press it and, and see how it feels to you. <laughs> That's awesome. Let's do it again. Hold it down a little bit longer this time. Yeah, do you feel the power? <laughs> Is that awesome? That's just weird. It hurts my eyes when I look at it because it's so bright. Yeah, this electricity is actually a high enough voltage and it's actually uh, turning the oxygen into ozone right here. And if you did it long enough, you'd actually smell that same smell you get oh. after a lightning storm. So I've always wanted to do what's inside of a stun gun, but I needed to find somebody crazy enough that's willing to let them shock themselves. And it turns out, like, <laughs> he's willing to do it. So <laughs> we are here, we're gonna take this thing and shock each other. I might get no. shocked, I don't know. No. Lincoln will no. get, may not get shocked today, <laughs> but after that we're going to take it and we'll take it home and we will take it apart and hopefully not ele electrocute ourselves and we'll see what's inside of it, but let's have a little fun with it first. We have a slow motion camera to get an awesome shot and Lincoln is in a very safe place over in the corner. <laughs> he didn't want to be too close, which is understandable. This is kind of scary. This is one guy that's not afraid. Okay, it's working. <laughs> Woo, here we go. Okay, that's <laughs> it shocked me on the first one. It went through and got me. Yeah, how's that feel? It feels like that's gonna leave a mark. My wife is gonna be so mad when she sees this. She told me not to do it, so. Do it, do it, do it, do it. <laughs> it's so much harder when you do it yourself. All right. Oh, do okay, it, light it up. Do it, shot. Do it, do it, shot. Do okay, here we go. It is stun gun time on myself. Do it! Did you take my ring off or are you No, good? you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared. Do Why it, am I doing do this? It. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> do it again! Okay, I'm doing it again. I'm doing it again. That was a wimpy one. Hold it for longer! The first one just felt like a battery, like when you lick it with your tongue. Yeah. But that second one, whoa! <laughs> that yeah. was crazy. Dude, that was wacky. And look at this! This is beautiful! YouTube Golden Play Button. We ordered this in January. YouTube, please send it to our house ASAP because I want it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it does take. A minion. Oh, this guy. Actually, that comes from a project where I used electricity, funny enough. What? 12,000 volts of electricity we used uh, to cook a marshmallow. I really don't get how you do that. <laughs> cook a marshmallow? Yes. Okay. Well, well, I haven't seen this one yet, so I'm going to put a link in the description below. You should check it out. And now we need to go home and take it apart and see what's inside of it. Yes, but I'm not going to give it to you, Dan. I think Lincoln is the obvious choice since he's the only responsible one among us. So I'll make take that. Make sure your All dad right. does things with it, okay? <laughs> We're back in the house and now it's time to cut these stun guns in half. This is the one that Grant gave us and this is one that's like exactly the same. And this is the oh, one that we got that's scary. actually a pink one. So they all have different voltage to them. Some and of they them, all are very scary. It's for self-defense, obviously, and that's why it has pink ones because a lot of women like to use them. This pink one is cool because it has this little slider and you can plug it right into the wall. And if you turn it on to the first setting, it's a flashlight. So they can just take the flashlight and be walking around. And then obviously if somebody comes and tries to steal their purse or something, they can switch it to the other setting and then. Well, I think it looked really cool in slow motion when you just like pushed it and it. I don't have a little tiny screwdriver that can go down in there right now. So I have something that's more effective. This little tiny knife. 
<laughs> yeah, it's so little tiny. I guess the first thing is let's turn off this, not the flashlight, let's keep it all the way off. And now let's uh, slowly cut into it and hope that I don't shock myself like crazy. You're doing it on the side with the button? Yeah. Oh, you're getting in there. Yeah, we're in there now. Okay, should we go from the other side? Yeah. Oh, that was the button. The button's broken. Okay, we're in Whoa. a little bit. Whoa! You totally bent the metal. It's not shocking me. That's a good sign. <laughs> ah! The light just turned on. That's a problem. <laughs> it still works. <laughs> the light works. Oh, yeah. baby. Oh, my gosh. Ah! I'm just kidding. It was this one. <laughs> Here's the inside parts with the switch and those batteries. And then the wires go up into this box that has these metal coils on them. It almost like it feels like tin foil. And then what happens is it all charges in there and gets stronger and stronger until it goes up into those two cords right there. And these connect to the metal endpoints and then the electricity jumps across to each other. So that is like the amplifier box right there. So we don't recommend that any children play with these things or use these. Stay safe, stay smart. If you see one of these in your parents' purse, don't mess with it and try to have fun with it. We're in a safe controlled setting here. Here's the actual inside of the stun gun, all the parts without the casing. Here's the knife that we used because I didn't have a screwdriver and come on, this is a lot more fun than a screwdriver, and, right? Uh, and it does a lot more damage. Yeah. So that's what's inside of a stun gun and let us know what else you'd like us to cut open.